Hi, in this video we will have a quick overview of how the pickle list is generated. Once the plugin is installed and activated, navigate to the invoice packing from the WordPress menu. General settings menu contains common information that is used across all shipping documents. You can explicitly enable or disable the concerned documents required for your site and configure settings pertaining to each document individually. For instance, if you don't require the document dispatch label for your store, disable and save the settings. You can see that it is removed from the menu list. Some of the common data like the company logo, return policy, address details that are used across all the shipping documents should be included in the general settings. You can even load the default address from WooCommerce. The plugin is equipped to resize the logo to fit the plugin requirement. However, we recommend not to upload an image of a large size. Additional information with respect to custom data, RTL support, packaging formats etc. can be configured from the advanced tab. The plugin consists of a help tab that redirects you to documentation and support, as well as lists out additional filters that can be used for extending the plugin functionality. Let's walk through the Picklist settings window in detail. The general tab under the Picklist provisions the following. If enabled, products falling under the same category will be grouped together and displayed in the Picklist. To group the products on the basis of order, enable this option. Choose this option to display the variation information of the product beneath the product name in the Picklist product table. Enable this option to exclude the virtual deliverables like downloadable books from the Picklist. To add a product meta, say, a custom product meta like packing instruction, click on Add Product Meta, and into the pop-up that appears, key in an appropriate field name which will be displayed on the Picklist, and enter the meta key as it is. The custom meta key was given as packing underscore instruction. Once all the settings are configured, click the Update Settings button. Moving on to the Customize tab. It is in the Customize tab where you get more options to configure the look and feel of the Picklist. You can create new templates from existing layouts. For time being, let's stick to the default layout and proceed further. You can see that, as per the settings configured previously, the logo, as well as the address details, are already populated in the Picklist layout. The visibility of each element in the Picklist can be controlled by the toggle button incorporated in this tab. For example, let's change the table head background color of the product table to blue. Likewise, you can play around the layout and customize the Picklist to your desired style. You can even switch to the code editor to make additional customizations other than the one listed in the visual editor. While making changes via code editor, it would be better for you to refer the help which briefs about placeholders, alternate classes for RTL support, etc. Once all the settings are configured, click on the save and specify an appropriate name for the template, say, my pick list and save it. If there are no existing templates saved, then the created template will be activated automatically. If multiple templates are saved, it will be listed under my templates, with provisions to activate, edit, and delete. On editing an existing template, you will be redirected back to the customize window. You can make the necessary changes to the template and save it as usual. To activate the edited template, click on Activate. Now that all your settings are configured, you can print the pickle list for multiple orders. You can see a categorized view of products and orders. Its variation data and product metadata displayed in the pickle list. Next let us disable the group by order parameter and see how the pick list looks like. You can see that all the products are grouped together by category, making it easier for the packers.